Hello, my name is Clive Scott. This is part 10 of a course on Java, and it's all about while statements and do statements. Okay, this is the while statement. It consists of um, an expression here which is uh, um, evaluated, and it has to be either Boolean or its wrapper class. And uh, if it's the wrapper class, of course, it's unboxed. And um, if it turns out to be true, then the statement below is executed. And then uh, the process repeats again, and the expression is tested again. And uh, it keeps repeating and executing that statement until uh, the expression turns out to be false. Okay, now this statement down here can be a block, because a block counts as a single statement. Where a block, as you recall, is just a load of statements between left and right curly brackets. Also, an empty statement can be put there as well. An empty statement consists of just a semicolon, and uh, that's also valid. And the next thing is a, a do statement. That also looks a little bit like a while statement, but this time the statement is enclosed here, and it's always executed first before you test the expression. So again, that loops around, and um, just like for the while statement, and um, the difference, of course, being that um, this time you're always guaranteed that this statement will execute at least once. Now, um, only one statement is allowed in there, of course, and um, if you need more than one, then you can use a block. And, uh, of course, it's recommended that uh, you always put brackets in, so everywhere, so these uh, are effectively blocks anyway. Uh, also note the semicolon at the end there, that's a requirement. All right, these are the recommended layouts. Um, uh, it's uh, recommended that you always put the brackets in, uh, unless it's a completely empty statement, in which case you just put the semicolon on there. But these are just recommendations, of course. Um, right, here's some examples. Um, while true, um, this executes that empty statement forever. And uh, lock the machine up. Uh, here's one down here which um, is a bit more typical. Uh, uh, this will execute this while uh, this calls um, some method or other, passing it i. So obviously that must return a, a boolean or its wrapper class. And as long as that is returning true then it will just keep looping around there. Uh, Here's something else, um, if count less than max, go around here and update this count at some point, and then go and test it again. And these are pretty typical sort of things you get with uh, no loops and while loops. Well, except, except for that, of course, which just locks the machine up. 